Now, as I say, I'd like to uh, uh, have the gentleman come out who gave Louis his first music lessons 53 years ago, Mr. Peter Davis. Here he is. Mr. Davis, it's a great uh, pleasure to meet you indeed. Now, um, I'd like to ask you some questions about the young Louis Armstrong. When he first arrived at your home, uh, could you tell right away that he wanted to be a musician? I could, yes. How could you tell it? Because he organized quartets, singing. Mm -hmm. Then he introduced dancing out there, tap dancing. The boys would clap and sing as he was singing dance. Mm -hmm. And I was playing with a jazz band at that time. You were playing with a jazz band? Yeah, when I leave the horn then, take some, he sneak around there and pick up the horn and go to blowing. Uh -huh. So we had old Buell out there and uh, we used to blow the police whistle. <laughs> and so well, no, that sounds too much like jail for Jill now. <laughs> and it's time to run some bugle calls from the army on the, uh, on the book. How was the bugle? He said he blew the bugle. Louis blew the bugle. Huh? He blew the bugle for the line, for the, the, the mess call. Yeah, and after he blew it so well, <laughs> I climbed on the horn. Yeah, so then you learned the finger. Yeah, huh? first he saw the pup, and I saw him on his boy's jaw. And, uh, then when I did get in the play, when the stage go marching in, drawing the old gray bonnet, it was a high note to be out. I guess that's the end of the stage. Yes. None of the other boys couldn't make it. Mm -hmm. And I could make it myself. So, so he, he would go to high school above the steps, and that's what I at the end of the stage. I'll bet. How soon after you took lessons from Mr. Davis did you start to play professionally, Louis? As soon as I got out. <laughs> <laughs> I ran into Joe Oliver and those boys, and uh, every time one of those uh, boys would be late or couldn't make it, they'd, they'd, they'd say, go down and get Little Little, little Louis. That's yeah. my name, Little Louis. Little Louis. And I, I used to sit in with those boys. Is that right, Mr. Davis? You taught a lot of young fellas to play, didn't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, a whole lot of Many them. instruments. You see all the young black people right here? We preserve New Orleans history and music all over the world. Not all of us is murderers. I don't have no ambition on going to Angola for the rodeo, for a video, or nothing else. I don't go around talking about people. You see all these people right here? Ain't none of us over 30, and we all making a statement for young black people. We gonna walk in the steps of Tuba Fat. is not being offered in a lot of junior high school programs. Because of that deficiency in music programs in the junior high school level, certain high school programs are suffering a little bit because they, they don't have the kids coming to them with the knowledge of music that they had in the past. And this program actually caters to that. We are feeding the need for these junior high school programs to have music. Well, this is an after school and summer program for kids 9 to 14 and we started out to get the kids off the street and give them something to do. The curriculum is, is a carbon copy of a lot of the old, old band teachers used to teach, and we just implemented it in this program where you just learn everything from beginners to advanced here with us. You're learning and you have a test, you get, you get uh, quizzes on it to see where you learn at. You get to take your instrument home. The instruments here were uh, loaned to us through uh, several different entities. One of them was the Tipitinas Foundation. Uh, Tipitinas graciously gave us a great amount of instruments and we had a few donated instruments and a few instruments that I had on my own and they made up uh, about an 80 piece band right now. Our ultimate goal is to have 200 people. We envision our kids being able to jump right into high school, going into NOCA, maybe surpassing level one, becoming level two NOCA students, which is the New Orleans Center for Creative Arts. And uh, we think that this program can be a springboard 
for that. It could be a springboard. They can be leaders in their high school bands, and hopefully they can extend some uh, music scholarships to the kids once they get ready to go to college. I learned about staffs and I learned about key signatures and I learned like different skills. And I just started learning all other things about staffs, reading music. At first I really didn't know what a staff was, I knew how to read music. How to sit in the chair when you're playing your instrument. How to play better and all that type Well, I was making a lot of mistakes at first. Uh, we learned sharps and flats. I kept blowing, I kept blowing until I get to the uh, from, uh, no shop. Right now I'm playing a uh, clarinet because they say my arms are too short for trombone. I play um, baritone here, but I play the drums at my church. I have a cousin named Lyndon, he played a bass drum. Cousin named Willie, he played a trumpet. My friend, he won't play in a band with me. And another friend, Kenny. My cousin named Elder, she played a snare drum. We, we always talk and have fun and stuff, talking about sick line bands and all that. These kids, you know, they, they run it real fast. They don't want it. They want to do it. They need it. And, you know, it's, keeping their attention is not hard as long as they learn. You know, and once they stop learning, that's when you lose their attention. You taught a lot of young fellas to play, didn't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, a whole lot of them. Many instruments, I know. Yeah, we had uh, a wonderful brass band, and uh, we used to go around and pass the hat. <laughs> and remember, you made me lead up the little band? Yeah, you did. And I went into my neighborhood, you know, around uh, where the hockey chunks uh, and the story and all them places, and all the, the, the gamblers and everything. Yeah. They asked Mr. Davis, uh, so I see you got a little Lewis in there and say, uh, could we give him some money, you know? Uh -huh. He said, that's all right. We need some instruments. And uh, they passed the hat for me. And we had enough money to buy a whole band full of yeah, well, brand new instruments and everything. Unless they stop learning, that's when you lose their attention. All instruments provided, transportation provided, mouthpieces provided, uniforms provided, t-shirts provided. What excuse do they have?